Hi everyone, welcome to Minecraft Daily, episode number 182. I'm JC and today is Thursday the 19th of January 2012. Quickly, first thing today, all the Mojang sites were down yesterday for the SOPA protest. If you don't know about SOPA and PIPA, then go and read up on them, it's really important. But of course, the big Minecraft news today is the new snapshot. So the jar is now available if you know how to use it. And jungles have been added. So that it doesn't mess up old world saves, you have to actually start a new world in order to see jungles. This isn't a case of just generating new chunks like it used to be. I think this is partly due to the fact that there's new trees and all sorts going on here. So if you have the snapshot and you want to start a new jungle world and check it out, I did find a seed earlier that starts you in the jungle, which is jungle is massive all in one word. And apparently 99% of people who've seen my video so far don't seem to get the joke. But I guess maybe the reference is too obscure. Now if you're wondering about tigers and monkeys and stuff, John Kagstrom is apparently going to be adding in some more jungle related animals later. So keep an eye out for those. And on the subject of the mobs, he has also added in wolf breeding. So there's now baby wolves. To make wolves breed, you'll have to actually use meat instead of wheat, however. And also quick side note is that meat still heals them however the tail indicator is currently broken in the current snapshot but it is just a bug it's not a new design choice so other things in the snapshot also include spawn eggs loaded into dispensers will now make the dispensers spawn mobs which should be very useful for traps as well as adventure maps Ladders have now been fixed yet again, so they've now actually got a collision box again. However, vines are also now climbable, which is really cool, especially in the new jungle biome because the trees are really tall. You can't climb vines if they're just hanging down, but if they're up against a solid block, then you can use them just like a ladder, so that's really cool. And finally, of course, the scary news that zombies now have pathfinding, and presumably all mobs will eventually have this. I tested it out a little bit earlier in the Lisa Miller maze I did on Paradise Decay's map basically found that if I flew to a different part of the maze the zombie would walk around the maze and actually find me which is incredible there does seem to be a limit luckily if I really challenged the zombie he just didn't bother but I guess in most real gameplay situations where you haven't built a maze the zombies won't have any trouble tracking you down at all so the first video today is a new one from Epic Productions and it's called Movies in Minecraft and they must have been really busy making this because there's loads and loads of different movies that they've parodied all in one video. So go and check that out. Then the second video is from Zoomavoid and he's done an animal breeding machine tutorial for 1.1. It looks really nice and there's also a map download if you want to try it out straight away. And then Cube Hamster has made a fully automatic single player game of Mastermind. It's amazing, you press the buttons for the colours that you want and it will automatically display those colours and then tell you how many you've got right and everything like normal Mastermind does. Except you're literally playing the redstone computer not another player. So that's really really cool and is available for download if you want to play it yourself. Then Less in the UK has done a really nice steampunk airship. There's a time lapse video and a tour video. I think I'll link the tour video. So it's really detailed and I didn't even realise that the thumbnail was Minecraft. It's that good. And finally KWR426 has done yet another really cool animation called A New Day. So I will link that in the description as well. Fan art today is by Scorching Sketches and it's called Deep in the Mines. I really like the fisheye lens effect they've done, it's really cool so go and check it out in full resolution. And so question of the day last time was do you play with mods and if so which ones? And there was loads of answers, a lot of you mentioned Optifine which I've recently fallen in love with as well. So if you're looking for new mods go and check out the comments last video, there's loads to choose from. I'll put up a couple of comments on the screen now of people who mentioned quite a few mods all in one go, so thumbs up for effort. So so today's question of the day was suggested by Now Let's Play Minecraft and it's if you could create one new Minecraft block, 
what would it be and why? So let us know your ideas in the comments and also let us know if you have any ideas for question of the day as well. So that's all for today so I'll put a link to all of those things in the description of this video over on YouTube. If you find these videos useful then remember to like and comment and favourite and subscribe if you haven't already which you can do by clicking this button up in the corner here and also share these videos with any of your friends who you think might find them useful as well and you can also follow me on Twitter links in the description as well and I will see you tomorrow